You've seen while loops before, but today I'm gonna make them crystal clear for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use while and do while loops in Java. And by the end, you'll have a fully working program using them. What's up, it's Alex back again, helping you learn Java. On this channel, I make Java tutorials for you every week, so if you're new here, then consider subscribing. So as usual, just hop into Eclipse, make a new Java project. We'll call it um, while loops. Okay, expand that on the source folder, do a new class. And that'll be our Java file. We'll name it while loops again. This first check mark and hit finish. You make a while loop in Java just like this. You say while, and then you do some open and close parentheses, and then do some curly braces. You could have it like this, but I like to have the curly brace on the same line. There's an underline here because we need to put something in these parentheses. I'm just gonna put the keyword true in here for now, but I'm gonna explain everything in a second. A while loop repeats code forever until a trigger that you specify occurs. So to demonstrate that, we'll just print out the letter A here uh, like this. If you save that and run it, you'll see the letter A print out all the time and it's gonna keep going forever. So we're just gonna stop that. This value in here is just something that's true or false. If this is true, then the code inside of the curly braces gets run and then it goes back to the top and runs it again while whatever in this parentheses is true. So that's why we print A, go to the top, print A forever. If this was false, then none of this would get run ever and that's why you see this underline here because it says unreachable code. It won't get run. So we'll just go back a step, keep that as true. A simple example we can do is something with a counter. So we can have a counter, say an integer, uh, we'll call it a that starts at zero and we want to print it while it's less than 10. So while a is less than 10, we'll run some code and we'll just say that a is uh, less than 10 and then we might um, say what the value of a is. And then at the end, we'll increment a by one to complete our counter. If you save that and run that, we will see a is less than 10. It starts at zero, just like how we initialized it or set it to. Then it goes one, two, all the way up down to nine. And that's pretty much mostly what you use while loops for is if you wanna do something until the end. You may not know what the end is, so that's why while loops are super important and that's how they're different than for loops. So for example, if I did a for loop here, um, you don't have to remember how to do this. Um, I do have a video covering for loops, but here's the gist of it. I'm just gonna show you an example. Save that and run that. You get the exact same thing we did for A, except now it's for I. This code and this code are essentially the same, but I'm gonna show you in a little bit when you would use a while loop instead. So I'm just gonna clear this out and we'll talk about do while loops. I'm gonna delete this and we'll start fresh. To make a do while loop, you just do do, that's the keyword. Do some curly braces and then your while and your parentheses goes at the end with a semicolon. This has an underline because we need to put a true or false expression in here and inside these curly braces is where we would put our code. We'll save it and run it, and we get sort of the same thing that we saw before. The difference between a do while loop and a while loop is that the do while loop will always do what's in the parentheses first. No matter if this is true or false, it'll always do this first. Whereas a while loop, if it's false, it'll never get run. So I'll show you this. We can see if a is equal to one, save it and run it. We see that A gets printed out even though a is not equal to one. The flow here is first do this code and then check if A is equal to one. Now that we see that A is actually zero, it's not one, then we stop. If we see if A is equal to zero and save it and run it, we get it printing forever because we do the first step, print out A, and then we see if A is equal to zero, turns out it is, so we go to the top again, run it again, and it loops over and over and over. I'll go back to the example with a normal while loop. Let's see, um, 
the same thing where a is equal to one. If we save this and run this, we get nothing because the float with a while loop is first we check if a is one, it's not, so we don't run it at all. So now, so now let's do a real world example. Most of the time you're gonna be using while loops for repeating until the end of something. So for example, if we have a sentence and wanna get all the words in a sentence and store them into array, we can do that with a while loop really simply. So we can say our sentence is equal to something like awesome. We can get individual words by just setting up a scanner. We're getting the words from our sentence, so put that in the parentheses. Hover over scanner and import it. This tells Java, hey, we're gonna be using this thing called a scanner to go through these words. Let's bring that into our program. We'll make an array list for our words. If you're not sure what an array list, I made a video covering those in a separate video, if you're gonna check that out now. Um, it'll be of type string. We'll call it our words. And say equals new array list of type string again, parentheses, finish. Hover over that and import that as well. Woo, now we can finally get onto that while loop. So we'll type while, and then we wanna see while we have a next word, we'll grab it and throw it into the array list. So we'll say while our scanner has a next word, just like that has next, then we will put it into our words array list. So to do that, you just type the name of your array list is words, and we'll say dot to bring up what things that array list can do. It looks like we can add it, so we'll type add, and we'll just grab that word, scan.next, and finish that off. Finally, I know this looks confusing, but this is just kind of like a real world example. I'm trying to help you guys out. Um, so you can kind of copy and paste this method uh, if you have something similar. So we can just print out that uh, array list of words, uh, words, save it, run it, and then you get to see that all of these words are separated and stored by using a while loop to go one word at a time until the very end. And in this program we made, we created a sentence and we wanted to store all three of these words into a data structure called an array list. So we can use those words as data for other means. To get each word, we can do that using a scanner in Java. And then we put what we want to scan that sentence in there. We called our array list words. We go to our while loop. We see that the scanner does have a word. It, it's called flapjacks. And then we add that into the words array. Next, we go back to the top and we see that the word R is in there, so we'll add that. And we go back to the top again and see that the word awesome is there, so we put that in there. We try one more time, we see that there's no other words, and we exit the while loop. And at the end, we print out all those words. As always, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate it. I'll catch you later.